Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I am doing my 16th, I think 16th, team of the 18 teams that I will review that will be playing the Chicago White Sox in 2021. And today it happens to be the Oakland A's. So as you know, I've been comparing the White Sox, their roster, their lineup, yada, 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 to the other teams that they will play. Now, I managed to get most of them done before the season started, but there are a few that slipped through the cracks and were not able to be done during the regular season, and the A's is one of those. But we don't play the A's yet, or haven't played them yet, and we don't play them for a little while, I don't believe. So, we will go from here. And so you can see, we are comparing the White Sox to the A's. Now, as I usually do, I will start by going through the White Sox. And we have the luxury now of knowing who the White Sox really are going to have in their lineup and playing. And so let's get into that. So as you can see, the here's the White Sox lineup, projected lineup for 2021. Tim Anderson right now is on the DL, but we know he is the starting shortstop and usually does lead off for the team. Um, batting second is Adam Eaton, the right fielder. We know now that he will not be platooning with uh, Adam Engel, nor should he be, based on how he's played so far. Uh, Nick Madrigal, the second baseman, doesn't actually bat third, but he does play second base for them all the time. He has Monty Grandal at catcher, Jose Abreu at first base, and then the surprising Yermin Mercedes at DH hitting 500 right now as of this recording. If you're watching this, you know, in August, then you think, man, what is he on? Your mean, your mean Mercedes is not hitting 500. Or if he is by that time, that's going to be great. But that's not going to happen. Andrew Vaughn, the left fielder right now, because um, Eloy is out with an injury, uh, a pectoral tear. So if he comes back at all, it won't be until like August or September. Um, Johan Mancata at third base, and then Lewis Robert, the center fielder. And that's the White Sox, how they line up generally. So here's the White Sox rotation. You can see I've got the picture of, let me move myself over here so I'm not in the way of anything. So you get, we've got Lance Lynn's beautiful mug right there. And then of course we have the rotation of Lance Lynn, Lucas Giolito, Dallas Keuchel, Dylan Cease, and now we know Carlos Rodon will be the fifth starter, at least for the time being. Kopech may make it in there later this year, but right now he's in the bullpen. And speaking of which, we do know that the bullpen looks a lot like this. You've got, uh, here, let me put myself up here a little bit. There you go. You got Liam Hendricks, and there's his photo. Of course, he has gotten off to a very rocky start for the White Sox, so maybe it would be great if he was back with the other team that I'm reviewing, the A's. But anyway, <laughs> no, not seriously. But Evan Marshall, uh, Cody Hoyer, Aaron Bummer, Matt Foster, Garrett Crochet, Nick Turley, Jose Ruiz, and Michael Kopech. Michael Kopech has been great so far out of the bullpen for the White Sox. And I almost would like to see them keep him in the, in the bullpen and not even put him in the rotation, at least not this year. But that's up to La Russa. That isn't up to me. And so now you got the, uh, the bench. Adam Engel, the aforementioned Adam Engel, who I thought, here, let me put myself down, get myself out of the way here. Um, I was thinking maybe Adam Engel would platoon with Adam um, Eaton, but Eaton has gotten off to a scalding hot start, so 
But I don't know if that's even going to happen. You got Danny Mendick, um, that uh, backup infielder. Zach Collins is the backup catcher, although your mean Mercedes is also a possibility to back up a catcher. Nick Williams, backup outfielder. Leary Garcia, who's really just really a kind of a super utility guy, can play all kinds of positions. And then Billy Hamilton, who is basically a pinch runner and a backup outfielder. So that is the White Sox quickly reviewed because you've probably seen it hundreds of times already. All right, not hundreds of times. I've really only done like 15 other reviews or comparisons. But let's get on to doing the A's, and we're going to go to the board. We're going to go to the whiteboard for the A's. Hello, sports fans. Here we are at the board. We are at the board. We're going to talk about the A's in 2021 as compared to the White Sox. Hopefully you can see this board because I wrote it in green. But, you know... Put it on your computer. You'll be able to see it. So anyway, we got the lineup. First, we're going to start with the lineup. So let me let me just stand a little bit behind the board here. You got Matt Mark Kana, the left fielder. Ramon Lariano in center field has a rocket for an arm. That guy. Jed Lowry at second base. Nice to see him back in baseball. Matt Olson at first base, and then Matt Chapman at third base. The Matts, the Matt connection, and then um, Moreland, the DH. Is that Matt Moreland? Is that three Matts in a row? I'm not sure what his first name is. Mike, Matt, Mark. I think it's Matt. Uh, we got Sean Murphy at catcher. Then Stephen Piscotti in right. And Elvis Andrus at shortstop. A's lineup. There it is. So now we got there. We'll go to their bench. Their bench is Aramis Garcia, who is their backup catcher. Tony Kemp, who plays second and the outfield. Then you got Seth Brown, who's a first baseman and an outfielder. Kahai Tom, I don't know how you pronounce that name. He's an outfielder. And then Chad Pinder, who right now is on the IL, but he is an infielder, outfielder, kind of a super utility guy like Leury Garcia is for us. Then the rotation, you got Chris Bassett, Jesus Lazardo, Sean Manea. A lot of these guys are, you know, A's mainstays. Frankie Montas, Cole Irvin, who right now I believe is probably in the rotation for the injured Mike Fires. So there are there five or six possibilities there at, at starting pitcher. And then out in the bullpen, you got Lou Trevino, Jake Diekman, who's gotten off to a rather bad start for the A's, Sergio Romo, J.B. Wendelkin, Yasmero Petit, Adam Kalerik, Jordan Weems, and Diolis Garcia. And so that is your 2021 A's. And how do they stack up against the White Sox? I still think the White Sox are a better team. And also the A's have gotten off to kind of a slow start. Hopefully that can continue, especially whenever it is that they do play the White Sox. I forgot to look that up on my phone. But we will only probably play them no more than five or six games anyway because they're in the uh, Western Division but um, yeah this is uh, this is your A's I mean their lineup certainly isn't as uh, dangerous as the White Sox even with the White Sox missing Eloy Jimenez I don't even really like their I mean the rotation is overall it's almost it's almost to where the the White Sox are and their bullpen really isn't. And then the bench doesn't really matter. The bench players only play every once in a while. So that's what we got for the A's. What do you guys think? You think the A's can uh, take us down in 2021? Or 
are we a better team than the A's? And should probably take the series from them. Personally, I think we should. But, you know, we didn't beat them in the playoffs last year. And who knows what's going to happen this year. But I think we're still a better team. And we probably still should win more than we lose against the A's. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Leave a comment. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.